Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to the Miranda Zone. It's your girl Miranda. Today I went to Ulta and bought me some more makeup items. I ran out of some makeup supplies while I'm doing all these Halloween makeup tutorials. So I needed to get out and go to Ulta to buy me some more items so I can keep doing these Halloween makeup tutorials. <clears throat> I just ran out of jumbo sticks basically. So I went to Ulta and bought me some more jumbo sticks was like it was like four ninety Five a jumbo stick or whatever, which is really really cheap. And I bought me like four of them, four jumbo sticks. <clears throat> Here's the out the bag. I got my jumbo sticks on the other side of me. <laughs> I decided just to get them out. But anyway, let me show you all what I bought. The other blue jumbo stick that I had, it ran down. I tried to sharpen it, but it won't sharpen very well. So I'll probably end up throwing that away. Since I can't really sharpen it that well. What I'll probably have to do is throw the jumbo sticks away as soon as they get down to the bottom of the actual pencil area. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. But anyway, let's get on to this... Uh, haul this out the haul the first item the first jumbo stick I want to show you is this electric blue I ran out of that so I wanted to get me that one And the next one is uh, Cobalt. Yeah. And this is what it looks like. And I bought me a gold jumbo stick. Sorry, the lighting is a little weird. And I, I bought me a Purple Velvet Jumbo Stick. And last but not least, I bought me a lip liner because I've been needing some lip liners. Even the lip liners that I have they won't sharpen that well I don't know if I have a crappy pencil sharpener or liner sharpener but mine just stinks so <laughs> I think every six weeks I might have to go to Ulta and buy me some lip liners 
or every other six weeks. I don't know. I'm going to try to use these as less as possible just so I can keep them for a long time. <clears throat> but anyway... I bought me this lip liner pencil. <clears throat> it's in red. Yeah, it's in red. And this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty color, I think. <clears throat> All right, the next thing I want to do is I posted on my fan page on Facebook that I wanted to do a q and A. I'm going to continue to do the Q&A for at least two or three more days. So if there's anybody who has anything they would like to ask me, please feel free to send your questions down below in the comment section and I will answer your questions. The only thing that I ask is you don't ask me how I use the restroom or where do I sleep because I'm just like everybody else. I can do the same things everybody else can except a little different. But, you know, I do have a personal life, so don't ask me how, you know, where I sleep, how I sleep, and how do I go to the bathroom. That's not any of your business. I'm not being smart aleck. I just think that's a personal thing, and it's none of anybody's business <laughs> but my own. All right. Let me get to the questions. My friend Kimberly Johnson asks, will you do a what's in my bag? Yes, I will do that very, very soon. Emma Prophet, she says, what inspired you to start making YouTube videos? Um, I just got on YouTube one day. I didn't have a YouTube or Google account. I was just a regular girl and I'm still regular just because I'm on YouTube. That doesn't mean I'm not regular. <laughs> a regular person. <laughs> but yeah, I was just one of those random girls or young ladies that was just searching on YouTube one day and I found a really cool Actually, I found 
several really interesting makeup artists who done amazing uh, makeup tutorials. And I thought, hmm, this is really cool. So, I thought to myself, hey, I could do that. I could get on YouTube and do makeup tutorials and things like that. So, I think around 2000, I want to say 2000, hold on, let me look at it, because I got it popped up. 2012 of July, July 17, 2012, is when I started YouTube. <clears throat> so that's when I started doing makeup tutorials and hauls and, you know, a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, I, I seen these makeup artists on YouTube and it really inspired me to also make makeup tutorial videos and all that stuff. And it's actually becoming a really, really big success because... I have about 1,718 fans on here, so yes, that is amazing. I didn't think I would get that many subscribers, so I am truly, truly blessed. For all of the subs the subscribers that I have. Sorry, I I'm tired. When I'm tired, I can't talk. <laughs> I get really tongue-tied. It's like... <laughs> I had a long day. But yes, I am very thankful and blessed that I have so many subscribers on here. It's really a big blessing to me. I enjoy being on YouTube. It's a whole lot of fun. I get to do what I love, which is do makeup tutorials. Anything about makeup. And a whole lot of other things like vlogging, cooking, and... Stuff like that. I, I just enjoy it. I love it. And I like it that other people enjoy watching me as well. That's a big blessing. Okay, Annalisa. Ian Dan Foley says, will you do more competitions? If you mean challenges, yes, I will do some more challenges in the future. Like some kind of pepper challenge because I like spicy food. So, if I can get my hands on some ghost pepper or one of my really, really great friends, one of my best friends, kind of introduced me to Mad Dog 357. I've never, ever had Mad Dog 357. I've just heard about it so I can't wait to try that. They told me that it eats concrete. That it's that hot. It's that strong. <laughs> if hot sauce. Can eat concrete. <laughs> I 
Oh man, that will do me. <laughs> that might kill me if I did that. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, I want to try that. That Mad Dog 357. But yes, I will do more uh, challenges in the future. I just have to find some challenges I can do. If you all have any challenges you would like me to do, please send them. Send your requests. I just can't do anything that's going to harm my body. Like, I can't do the cinnamon challenge. Because I have very weak lungs and I don't want to end up in the hospital just because I sucked some cinnamon down my lungs. <laughs> I just, I can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but any challenge or, you know, something that's not dangerous, feel free to request it. <laughs> My friend Gabriel, he asks me, uh, do I now swim? I used to swim when I was a lot younger, but ever since I got on oxygen, it's probably not a good idea for me to do that, so I don't swim anymore. But yeah, when I was a teenager, I used to swim a lot, as much as I possibly could, over the summer and stuff, every summer. So... I guess that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, please give it a thumbs down. I hope you don't give it a thumbs down, but if you do, that's okay. <clears throat> there is a comment that I would like to read to you all, because I had to deal with a butthole today, and I, I probably shouldn't read it to you, but I wanted to anyway. Just because I want to set this person straight. A person wrote me about a couple of days ago and said I'm sorry but I don't want to be a fake but they used cuss words I, I don't use cuss words so I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna substitute bad words but it said I'm sorry but I don't want to be a fake but person makeup is not her thing I want to be honest and not say something nice just because she is disabled. She's a person and as a person you need critiques to get better. And I set that person straight. 
and then they waited till today to write me again and they said do something better and don't use your disability as an excuse uh okay I, let me tell this person this I do have a disability yes but I do not use it as an excuse yes I am a human being and I have feelings just like everyone else in the world <clears throat> I do the best that I can with my life and I love my life I love who I am and I do not use my disability as an excuse now if I can't do something even though I have tried to do something that I couldn't do then that's no one's concern at least I tried that doesn't make me less of a person if you can't do something accept it yes try to do things that you can't do you know because anybody can do anything if they set their mind to it but if they figure out that they cannot do that certain thing that they want to do it's not because they're lazy it's not because they don't want to it's because their disability or whatever they're going through is in the way is stopping them from doing what they want to do in life it's not a decision of oh I don't want to do this just because I'm lazy or you know whatever it's a I want to do this but I can't so I'm not going to hurt myself just to prove that I can and I want to say this to the person that said the rude comments to me until you have walked a mile in other people's shoes you need to keep your mouth shut until you have been where the person is or where the person was in their life you need to shut up because karma is a real thing and it will get you so you better watch your mouth and I want to say that to anybody who has a problem with me I am a very 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 nice person I have a heart for people I pretty much love people I don't know everybody but I love you and that's because God loves everybody so if you're a Christian you should love somebody despite who they are and what they go through life does not give us choices about what we're born with we are born the way we are we are what we are yes if we can do something to make ourselves better then yes we need to get out and do it but if we can't even though we've tried don't give up not trying you know don't give up trying to better yourself keep trying to better yourself the way you want to better yourself don't do it the way others want you to do it don't answer 
to anybody that you don't have to. It's no one else's business. You know, what you go through in life or what you've been through in life. Your life is your own life. I just don't understand why some people think that they have a right or they feel like it's their job to judge you. I just don't understand that. I don't understand why people think that it's, it's their job to judge you. You know, maybe those people that judge you are having a bad day or whatever. Maybe their parents, you know, gave up on them or their parents parents split up or their grandmother died you know one of their loved ones died you know relative uh, boyfriend girlfriend you never know that's why it's really really bad to bully somebody because you don't know their situation even if you get to know that person that you're bullying. It's still a bad thing. To bully them. Because all you're doing is. Not only hurting them. But you're hurting yourself. You're. You're shredding. Your ticket. Out of heaven. By acting that ugly. To some people. To the people that you're being ugly to. I mean, do you really want that? Do you really want to shred your ticket away from going to heaven? Or do you want to be a sweet person to others and say, Here, let me send you encouragement. Here, let me give you a hand. With something. You know. Let me be there. For you. I mean. Isn't living that kind of life. Better than living the life. Where you torment and. Pick on people all the time. That's not living. If you have to. Pick on other people. Just to make yourself. Feel better. Or just to make yourself bigger. Trust me, honey, you picking on people is not making yourself better. It's just making you lower than others. So, that's all I want to say. Thank you all for watching this video. Peace and God bless.